in amg-news.com, which is one of the other AI-generated disinformation sites that is probably profiting off of every click from the gigantic amount of ads that have been stuffed into this site. So it's a fairly simple business. If you post something ridiculous on the internet, then put a lot of ads on that, the more people that click on that, the more money you get. That's how a lot of these sites operate. The problem is that people start to believe the exaggeration or get radicalized by it. And so in certain cases like this, you know, where the presidents are selected, not elected, like that is a headline designed to get you to click. It's a reactionary thing. And so if we look at how this article was constructed and then distributed, you start to analyze a disinformation campaign. So, hi, my name is Mitch Chayat. I run a company called Experiential Technologies. Um, I come from a background analyzing disinformation on social media, and I'm back again here in 2024 to show you guys how Multigo Monitor can be used to track mis and disinformation. So today, I will be using Multigo Monitor to analyze and detect certain disinformation patterns and talk you guys through some of these things so you're you know what to look for. Multigo Monitor is part of Multigo's entire all-in-one cyber investigations platform, encompassing monitor, search graph, and evidence. It's really focused on real-time social media monitoring. It's focused on public safety and national security as well. It's designed to detect and stop these threats before they spiral out of control. So if you're throwing an event, if you're monitoring an event from afar, doing anything regarding geolocated tweets, I think it's a great place to start for social media monitoring to then use across the entire Multigo ecosystem. Whether or not you're commercial or a government related entity, you can use Multigo Monitor to track disinformation campaigns, terrorist activities, potential emergencies. Uh, Multigo Monitor is really there to support, you know, your proactive crisis response and mitigation when these threats arise. So we'll take a look more at what we get out of Multigo Monitor here and how we can use that going into further investigations. So going into Multigo Monitor, we are presented with a very nice dashboard that shows us all of our social media posts. Multigo Monitor really allows me to see an overview of social media in the way that I need to see social media to monitor a certain event, right? We have multiple different sources here, including YouTube, news websites, forums, TikTok, Telegram, Snapchat, plenty of places to look for new things to support your investigations. I typically come from a media monitoring background, so less of an events or crisis situation, but I can talk to some of that uh, as we go through here. The way that we set up Multigo Monitor is generally with Boolean keyword searches. And in this case, we're looking at narratives regarding the US 2024 election. I think one of the more interesting things to discuss here is that we've had a shift on the keywords for the left, you know, Biden dropped out and now we have Kamala Harris. So we sort of have two keywords to keep in track there. And then Trump and Vance are obviously the names of the Republican candidates. Those are an easy place to start. So in order to set up our query, we've started getting 2024 election, presidential election, Trump, Harris, Biden, and Vance all into one keyword search. We also have some specifics. In the past, I've seen disinformation from two sites, including the Daily Boulder and the News Globe. These are examples of what I believe to be AI-generated uh, fake news sites. But the, these are actual examples of what we would use to manipulate and profit off of manipulation or false narratives, right? So if you've ever been in a grocery store and you've seen the tabloid section of the magazines that they have in the checkout counter, that's sort of where these sites sit. They exist to exaggerate the truth and then profit off of clicks. It's a very simple business that's a tale as old as time. Generally, keywords come down to three certain topics. People of interest, like the names of candidates, topics related to certain demographics or events. So in this case, we have the people, then we have the event that they're a part of, which is the U.S. election. And then from there, we have certain stances, right? So we have pro-Trump, pro-Kamala Harris. You know, those are examples of a binary where a tweet can be categorized as pro or against a certain topic, right? And then we can tie it to a certain person. So persons of interest, 
events and keywords relating to the event, and then uh, keywords relating to demographic and stance, right? So that could be your opinion on if the election was manipulated or not, or rigged or not. So yes or no, do you believe that the 2024 election was rigged? Very simple question that we can start to use to categorize different content that we find within Multigo Monitor here. When I worked as a Google analyst, we would constantly have to monitor where our clients' brands appeared on the internet, including on what we would classify as disinformation sites. Disinformation sites like the Daily Boulder and the News Globe are not nearly as malicious as people think. They are also a lot cheaper to fabricate than most people envision, right? You simply need a base news template for a website. Then you need AI-generated content that appears to be human-written then you need to stuff that website full of Google tracking, largely. That's how they figure out who's visiting the website, start to track it, and eventually, they sometimes they even try to log you in so they get your personal information. Both of these sites, the News Globe and the Daily Boulder, generally contain AI-generated content and show all of the existing signs of a disinformation site. Mainly, they believe in telling the truth However, there's no, it's not easy to, to figure out who's telling us the truth. There's no contact us or about us. And every single article here, if we go into America news, every single article is written by admin, which doesn't have a profile. This is a classic example of the article being written, but the author not being present, which helps us show that this site is not legitimate. We're going to be exploring some of those sites now with Multigo Monitor. So Multigo Monitor provides me with the ability to spot and tag certain narratives uh, for my clients, including brand monitoring, bot spotting, and seeing how their brands sort of get caught up in these exaggerated narratives that other people are profiting off of. To do that sort of monitoring within Multigo Monitor, we've gotten many different keywords here regarding the election and a simple boolean argument gives us what we need so here we're monitoring the left and you can turn these on or off and maybe we want to add another one but focused on the right so we can just simply take this and add a new search and instead of this we can change it to donald trump advance. And so that way we have equal coverage across both demographics. From there, we're going to start to analyze a small bot network that we have identified that is sharing a link to a very specific article here. So back to Multigo Monitor, I found what I call a similarity scoop, where I found nine tweets that are all linking to this one particular article, but are all slightly different. And so in this case, we can start to tag the differences between these tweets and analyze the subtle differences in the messaging, right? This is the pattern analysis that actually lets us figure out how many of these uh, different accounts sharing this article have done so in a coordinated fashion, right? It's hard to say that something is true or false. It's easier to say that this article is being shared, you know, programmatically by a bot network and that reduces its legitimacy as a source of, you know, facts, right? It's way easier to make the argument where somebody's paying falsely to promote a certain article that they profit from. That's what a disinformation site generally revolves around. So here in Multigo Monitor, you see that we have Ricky Bird, who has an American Eagle profile picture. We have Lynn Wood, who has got a guy with a cowboy hat. All of these different tweets contain the same exact keywords. The 2024 election will be rigged. They generally include a link to the article, and this is fairly indicative of a coordinated effort to publish news on amg-news.com. And then if you go to sites where you can purchase distribution through bot network accounts, they would then pay to promote that link through that bot network. Um, in this case, we've now found that they were possibly promoting this through a paid bot network, which is what it appears to me, and we can start to use Multigo Monitor to actually tag our evidence more granularly.
I call this selecting needles from a haystack, where out of all of the different social media posts, we've centered in on this, and the general goal with a you know investigation like this is to figure out who's possibly profiting off of it. In that case, we need to start figuring out all of the different messages that they're using to promote this link. And you can use different keyword identifiers to figure out how many different unique messages there are. So in this case, we're going to start to look for the ornaments, as I call them, where we have the baseline of why these tweets are in a list, right? They contain the same broad keywords, but we're going to start to tag the actual specifics. You can see that selected is capitalized. And that's, that's a unique thing in the case that some of the other ones don't have that. Right, so that that means that the ones that are capitalized like this, you know, this one, this one, this one, this one, and this one. So we now have a subset of the initial tweets. We can start to look at just those and even refine our coordinated analysis even more. So here we have one, two, three, four, five, six tweets certainly contain the exact same capitalization. And now we also have some more interesting ordinance where we have two different sources. We say the people's voice video, that's one source, but we also have another one. One of the uh, tweets that I just archived had American Media Group. So in this case, this one does not appear to have the people's voice video where the rest of them do. And so that means that this might have been from a separate send out on the messaging, whereas these, if we look at the, uh, the timestamps, might be able to help us understand the differences in different pushes to promote this. So we now have one, two, three, four, and five tweets with the exact same thing. Presidents are selected in all capitals, not elected, CIA insider warns 2024 election will be rigged, people's voice video. This is a classic case of a bot network promoting an account, right? And so there are follow-up analyses that we can do from the data that Multigo Monitor has shown us in this example. If we go to the site, we can start to analyze the actual content, right? And this is where once we've identified a site on Multigo Monitor to investigate, we can then go to the website and start to pick out different technologies that have been used to build it, different tracking IDs that are within the website's code, different patterns in the way that the articles are written. She's got a great bio for being a journalist. Uh, she spent every sunrise and sunset of her life on a tireless quest seeking out the radiance essence of truth. That is a fantastic qualification if you're a journalist. Unfortunately, I don't think Medea Greer is a real person. These are the kinds of things that you can look for when you're looking for a disinformation site. One, is the author a real person? Things like that maybe prove to me no. Um, do they have AI-generated content that is being used in the advertising specifically? So if we scroll down on this video, you can see that we have an ad in the middle featuring an AI-generated photo of Donald Trump going into war. That's a very good example of somebody trying to deceive you with false imagery. We also have pseudoscience, hardcore religious themes, and some conspiratorial uh, content here. So those are all just designed to get people to click. They, they are vertical marketing that increase the number of ad impressions that this website can get, and then causes who's ever behind it to profit more. Those are two examples of where you can use Google Analytics tracking IDs or reverse image search or just investigating authors as persons of interest. That's how you can start to figure out who actually runs America Media Group because if you look at their support us, it says all donations are greatly appreciated and will absolutely be used to keep us in this fight for the future of America. I would be curious to see if the authors were actually American. And whoever is receiving that money, it's sort of hard to figure out where it's going. Other than that, and back to Maltigo Monitor, starting to analyze how these accounts interact with each other on X is really important. So analyzing to see if, you know, does Ricky Bird, Peter Johansson, Roger Bone, Penila Nygaard, and Farsa Pandemia, do these accounts follow any of the same people? Do any of the same people follow them? Those are really important.
metrics and understanding how wide the botnet uh, network actually is. And so in order to do that, uh, you can export data very simply from Multigo Monitor just by selecting the tweets that you want, clicking export, and then you have the option of Excel or CSV. This is a great way to actually get the data that you collect from Multigo Monitor into any of your other sources for analysis and take it from there. Well, I hope you guys had fun analyzing a couple disinformation sites. Be sure to keep an eye out for an exaggerated headline, a basic news template, authors that don't exist, and other key features of disinformation sites. You can then use those sites as fuel for Google Analytics ID, other tracking information investigations, persons of interest investigations on the authors, and then ultimately figuring out what botnets are starting to traffic that information around the internet. My name is Mitch Chiat. Thank you again.